So today I'm trying beaver farm fishery again. I'm going to either try on the Cat Lake first if there's enough swims. If not, I'll be going to Snipe Lake, which is a specimen carp lake. This is the sign at the front of the fishery. Uh, it gives you all the information as you guys can see. The on-site bailiffs Andy and Ben are absolutely brilliant. They'll give you all the help you need to catch um, whatever fish you like, uh, whether it's carp, catfish, tench, or silverfish. These gate opening and closing times do change throughout the year. At the, at the moment it's summer, so we've got 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So this is Snipe Lake. I'm in peg number three. Got a, an overhanging willow there. Got some pads. I could fish through over there. Set of pads and we've got this aerator here as well. So hopefully it will give us a good chance of catching something. Fingers crossed. Let's get set up. Look how stunning they look. It's shining in the sunlight. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like these Tornos GS 10,000 reels. Beautiful. So I've decided to put one down by the pads here. One off of the corner of the island. And then earlier on, when I was setting up, I saw a, a fish move just underneath this willow here. So I've just put one down there. Literally a handful of bait, handful of pellet. Let's see what happens. One thing that's quite surprising today uh, this snipe lake is usually packed, but there's literally me and two other guys around the other side of the lake on here today. Um, granted, it's only eight o'clock, but yeah, usually this lake is, is packed, so hopefully it gives us all a good chance of catching something. So these are the products I'm using today. We've got the bait monkey, chunky monkey, Hydro syrup, absolutely amazing for for glugging the baits. But what I do, I uh, I just dip my PVA mesh into that just before I cast out. Got Antarctic monkey wafters on one rod. Got chunky monkey wafters on two of the other rods. Both of them with the kernels, and these are the orange. These are the orange ones. Quite soft. Absolutely amazing. And then what I do, I do a small PVA mesh. I use the 35 mil mesh more than I do 25. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm using today. As I mentioned earlier, I've got the Tornos GS 10,000 reels. Absolutely amazing for them, stunning. And I've got them with the 10 foot Sonic Insurgent rods and the extractor rod pod. I've got blue gizmo alarms as well. So it's about 10 o'clock now. Um, I've had a few bleeps on my middle rod, which is the one that's over by the corner of the island. Um, I've had a couple of couple of bleeps from my right hand rod, which is just probably about half a foot away. So I've just had a move down to the next swim at number two. I've um, got this aerator here, and I'm fishing to the other side of these lily pads now. Um, I've seen a couple of fish, kind of where that duck is there. Um, a couple of fish on the right hand side of these pads. I've also seen fish to the right hand side of this aerator. So I thought, you know what, give it a go for a couple of hours. I'll do no harm, can it? Well, that was pretty uneventful. Um, I think it was just too hot. There's a few fish swimming around, but no action at all. Um, three, as I say, there's three other people on the lake. It didn't sound like anyone had anything 
and that's fishing so i'm out tomorrow i've got another lake to fish so fingers crossed for tomorrow and um yeah i'll catch you guys soon thanks for watching